We gotta talk about Mike Tyson's legacy. Oh my goodness. Well, in your return to the ring for this fight, you are setting a monumental opportunity for kids my age to see the legend Mike Tyson in the ring for the first time. So after such a successful career, what type of legacy would you like to leave behind when it's all said and done? Well, I don't know. I don't believe in the word legacy. I just think that's another word for ego. Legacy doesn't mean nothing. That's just some word everybody grabbed on to. Someone said that word and everyone grabbed on the word, so now it's used every five seconds. It means absolutely nothing to me. I'm just passing through. I'm going to die, and it's going to be over. Who cares about a legacy after that? What a, what a big ego. So I'm going to die. I want people to think that I'm this. I'm great. I'm, no, we're nothing. We're just dead. We're dust. We're absolutely nothing. Our legacy is nothing. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. That is something that I have not heard before someone say that as an answer. Can you really imagine somebody say, I want my legacy to be this way when I get dead? Why do you want somebody, do you think somebody really wants to think about you? How, how what's the that I think, I want people to think about me when I'm gone. Who the f cares about me when I'm gone? Well, my kids, maybe, or grandkids. Yeah, true. And again, thank you so much for sharing that. Okay. I, um, the most awkward interview that little girl's probably ever done. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, is he wrong, though? Is he so, wrong? So, I mean, he's got seven kids. So, for him to say legacy is nothing, I mean, that's... So, you got to look at the word legacy and what it really means to people. You know what I mean? First off, we got to address the fact that he did lose last night. Um, oh. He uh, lost pretty bad. Looked it pretty old. Awful, man. Um, but I, when I'm breaking down what he's saying, though... Um, I don't know if it's 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 kind of like a uh, what is it? Um, it's it's kind of a biblical mindset. Though. Ecclesiastes. Yeah, it's like a you know it's all dust. We're mm -hmm. all wind. You know, mm -hmm. nothing really matters. It's it's kind of like the thoughts that Solomon had after being the wisest person in the world, having everything he wanted, all the women he wanted. It's all vanity. It's all vanity. It's, it means <laughs> yeah. nothing, right? Mm -hmm. So is he is he just coming to the Solomon realization without the truth behind it? You see what I'm saying? He doesn't know the 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 answer to that uh, right. solemnness and 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 nothing matters is Jesus, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But up until that moment, he's not wrong, is he? He's not wrong, but Mike's always no. He, Mike's known to give weird answers, man. Um, I told you I met him once, and he surprised me when I tried to shake his hand. He told me no, and I was like, okay. But he said it's not that I don't want to shake your hand. He said I'm afraid of you. And I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't get it. But he kind of left it at that. He was like, I'm a very shy person. So to shake your hand means that I have to interact with you. And that scares me. Yeah. And I was like, okay. I can see that. Right. I can see that. I was like, but you know, you Iron Man Mike. So he probably didn't mean like you was going to you was going to beat him up. Nah, but he it's just, just it was weird. Yeah. though. Like, like, so I think it just probably just depends on like what headspace Mike yeah. is in at the moment because yeah. exactly what you said might be giving some weird answers. I think <laughs> what was going on with that interview, I understand exactly what he mean, mm -hmm. but he Mike is in his fight mode. Like it was almost fight time yeah. when Mike was dealing with this. And I think that's what he meant. Like in his mind, the only thing he worrying about right now is a fight. So it, all his answers have been bitter. <laughs> his, he seems bitter with yeah, all his. I, he he, he gives old MO. man responses. You know what I mean? I think that's his Definitely. mo though. He, this is the same dude that said, "I'll eat your children." You know what I'm saying? Right. Like he just <laughs> that's oh, it. That's his mo. Like he's never gonna give you a conventional answer. But when I listen to that, similar to what Sean was saying, it's like you gotta look at the guy who at one point was on the top of the boxing world. Oh man! All the money, uh, all the cars, women. Yeah. He had. Uh, accusations of different kind of sexual misconduct like he done seen so Served many time in jail yeah uh -huh. seen so many highs and lows in life now as a 60 year old man they finna pay you 20 million dollars to fight a YouTuber you just like man I know all this stuff ain't really about nothing but they gonna give me 20 million I'm gonna go ahead and do it I don't care what y'all got to say because I got 7 kids uh -huh. you see what I'm saying mm -hmm. And so if I would get a, a biblical framework behind it, I would say like an Ecclesiastes, like striving after win, all this is vanity. Yeah. But the word also says a man who doesn't leave an inheritance for a children, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like it's not a good mm -hmm. look as well. So yeah. if I can say, you know what, I don't care about y'all opinion, I'm going to get this 20 million because I got seven kids and this will help take care of them. What scared me was his, his after the fight interview where he was like, I might not be done. I might fight Jake Paul next. You know what I'm saying? Like his answers are not thought out. Like mm -hmm. it feels that's what it feels like to me. Like he kind of feels like he's um 
I said I said something in our chat. I was like, man, they they trotting him out here like he's Joe Biden. Like it was looking bad. <laughs> the knee brace and everything. I was just like, this dude is his past, man. His past. I mean, and honestly, I think he knew what was at stake, and I think he knew what what could have happened. But he also looked real surprised in round three. Yeah. Like he looked like <sighs> huffing and puffing. Like this was not supposed to go like this. Like yeah. I really think he was in. I mean, he looked good in the training video. Uh-huh. But then after that, you got a sixty-year-old man though, and you got a young dude who probably what at the most thirty. Yeah, he's twenty-seven in the prime of his life, peak conditioning. Bro, I'm wondering if they sped up that training video. <laughs> no, nah, they didn't speed it up. <laughs> Remember how they said uh, Joe Biden bad. was jacked at the <laughs> yeah. uh, at the um, State of the Union? They were like, "Well, who is this Joe Biden we're getting?" And then we get to the debate, and we get Joe Biden. I think I got a plan to get punched in the mouth, right? Mm, yeah, you say that? that's another Mike Tyson. My phone, yeah, my phone. Just, but but the point is the point is is does your legacy matter? Does it absolutely. matter to you that people think about you after you're gone and what they think about you? I don't necessarily think legacy matters. I think and, and I don't think it matters when it comes to like what the world thinks of you. Like that's I think where we have that big issue with what Kurt Franklin said. I think it matters to what you do with your with your family legacy. Yes, that's I what matters. So. You know what I'm saying? So it you, it matters to you what your grandchildren's grandchildren's grandchildren think about you. Not I so, think so. no, 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 no. I'm saying like one generation removed, what have you left for them to build from? That's okay. what I'm talking about. Okay. I, I guess I guess for me, <clears throat> it doesn't matter to me what other people think about me after I'm gone. Not at all. Even Mm -hmm. my kids, kids, kids. I don't care what they think about me. As long as they know that the foundation was built for them to have faith, a true faith in God. Whether they remember my name or not is not important to me. Mm -hmm. What what matters to me is that it was set up properly. You Mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So is that that enough? Or do you need to be like in history books and celebrated? Uh, Now that's when I believe it starts turning into vanity when I want to become a household name (laughs) and everybody know me for this, this, and that. But for me to want my family and my children and children children to see that I was a man of faith, I stood on godly principles, and that's how I live my life, and I could be that kind of example to show them, like, hey, it's possible to do this. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like nothing wrong with that. But a lot of times when we think about legacy, God not really involved. We're thinking about so, who right. did the world say I am, who do people say I am. That's mm-hmm. more so the legacy most people are pursuing, not the legacy of Christ uh, being the leader of my life and how I conducted myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that goes back to what he said. With what's, what does he even mean when he said the legacy don't matter? Because people look at what that word means different ways. He a Muslim yeah. too. He yeah. a, uh, he's a Muslim. So mm-hmm. you and I talked it's about a form legacy of godliness in your interview <laughs> because I talked about how cool it was for your son. Oh yeah, to be coming, yeah. you know, coming out as a rapper right behind you and being on your last project was mm-hmm. like really dope to see. Mm-hmm. You know, that's legacy. That's yeah. legacy. Like you yeah. started something and now he's taking over and he's gonna you know continue that. That legacy. So mm-hmm. it's. I think it's important when it's like I said, one generation removed. Like my children's children, for them to know if they know me, right? Like I'm concerned about the people that actually get to know me, not the ones that hear about me later on down the line. Like right. if, if I have grandchildren and I'm in their life for a certain amount of years, I'm concerned about the legacy that I leave. What image do they see in me? And then what did I start that they could take over? Yeah. It's like with MLK, a lot of folks coming out of the woodworks now trying to slander his name, saying he wasn't really what y'all thought he was. He was this and that. Nobody ever said the man was perfect. Of course, he had flaws. He had his issues. But what he stood for and how he put his life on the front line is respectable. And I'm pretty sure the people in his family saw that and was like, you know what? We know him for real behind the scenes. But we also see him go out here and stand up for a whole bunch of people he didn't know laying his life down to the point it eventually cost him his life. So I think when you talk about legacy, that's a legacy I feel like is God word. That's a legacy of a man who strived after peace, unity, you know what I'm saying, fellowship, everybody being on one accord. These are godly principles. It wasn't out here, oh, man, MLK, man, you should have seen all them Cadillacs he had. Oh, MLK, he had a house over here in Alabama. He had a house in Atlanta. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If, that, if that's the legacy you leave, that ain't about nothing. Right. But they don't build a whole facility for you remembering the moments of your life and all these different kind of things and showing like historical breakthroughs that we had because of your acts of service. That's a real legacy for real. So, so Justin, I don't know if I'm allowed to say who you have a deal with, the music <laughs> that you're doing. Right? Can you tell everybody who uh, you signed to? Uh, yeah, um, I'm signed with Ebony Sun Entertainment, uh, the DTP family, with Jeff mm-hmm. and Shaka. Um, mm. I'm the first gospel artist. You know, wow, so it's signed to DTP. To That's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. That's so, cool. so right. legacy probably is is on you know on your mind more than most, right? Signing to a legendary all label. All the time. All the time. As as a gospel artist, 
Yeah. What do you think about legacy? Are you thinking about what your name is going to be after you're gone? I, I'm going to say, I, honestly, after hearing y'all talk today, is it made me think about it different. Because mm. when he said most of the time we talk about legacy, we talk about ourselves, like what I did. Like I had this, I had that, but I kind of feel what Mike is saying. At the end of it all, what you really saying about me don't matter. It's really what. I left behind what or what did I do to please God and um and how the family can go forward from that on like pretty much what y'all said because my legacy sounded kind of selfish before yeah. today. Yeah. That's good. That's you good. know, because we want to, we want the biggest records, we want the biggest production, we want the mm-hmm. most points on the album. We whole bunch of me. You yeah. Know? No, wow, that's good. So yeah, I mean I it didn't it didn't shock me what he said. I thought it was actually quite biblical. <laughs> I just don't know if he knows. The real legacy you're supposed to leave is how many people did you lead to Christ? Yeah. Were you an example? Did you put your life on the line to bring God glory? That's the only legacy that you should that should matter to you. Yeah. Even beyond even even more important than leaving money for your kids. I think everybody Christians default to that one. Even more important than that one is did you leave a legacy of yeah. Christ Christ likeness in the world? Yeah. Nice. Even if you yeah. had no money at the end of your life and, nice. you, and your kids oh, had to borrow money to put you in the grave, you yeah. still Yep. Left a legacy. You yeah, see what I'm saying? Yeah. That little girl owned though. She famous for healing out though. Hey, that, oh that, yeah, yeah. That was a great. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. did a great job being like, okay. I don't know if I ever heard thank that. you. Yeah. Yeah. She got a quick lesson on on being Thanks. an adult.